guys, it's Minx here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Rusty Lake Hotel. This is a disturbing point-and-click horror-ish of sorts game that we're going to play through over a few videos. Let's uh, have a look what's going on on the Rusty Lake, shall we? Let's play. Rusty Lake, 1893. Good afternoon. Let me introduce myself. Oh, sure, go ahead. My name is Mr. Owl. I am the owner of the Rusty Lake okay. Hotel. Oh, look. The guests are arriving. Fantastic. They all have their own reasons to be here. Okay. And I, I have my own reasons to let them stay. We will be having five dinners. Make sure everyone is worth dying for. Sounds rather ominous. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful week. Let's make some memories. So we play a character that works at the hotel here. We work for Mr. Al, our boss, and uh, we're going to make sure these guests are welcome and they have a, a wonderful time. Hello, Mr. Crow. <coughs> welcome to guests to our hotel. I better pick up all these lovely, delicious shrimp cocktails then and hand them out around the hotel. We got, um, oh, didn't mean to do that. That's the dining hall. We don't go in there yet. That's for when we have meals to serve. Hello there. I need you to run my bath tonight. Hmm, not quite sure I want to see that, Mrs. Penguin, but here, have a shrimp cocktail. I'm sorry, I don't eat pink food with ice. Well, you know, it's the thought that counts, right? We, we tried our best. <coughs> do, do you believe in magic? Come see me tonight. Whoa, Mr. Rabbit! Putting the smooth moves on her. Have a shrimp cocktail on the house, sir. <coughs> Funny looking food. Let's move on. We have, uh... Mr. Deer, bring me a bloody mirror tonight. Uh, how about a shrimp cocktail, sir? Thank you, but I'm more a meat person. I mean, there is meat in there, actually. I mean, I know people say fish isn't meat, but it is. So, I don't I fucking, I don't get that fucking thing. That annoys me, actually. Fucking hell. Anyway, next one. Are you ready for my photo shoot? <laughs> um, not particularly, Mrs. Pheasant. Here, have a shrimp cocktail. This smells a bit fishy. That's probably because there's fish in it, uh, Mrs. Pheasant. But, you know, I'm oh, sorry, Miss Pheasant. I do apologise. I'm so hungry. Uh, there you go. Have a shrimp cocktail then. <coughs> Perfect. I want that. Can I pick up your glass? I'm looking forward to our first dinner tomorrow. Now it's time to go to my room. Oh. Are they everyone going to their rooms, or everyone's just sort of hanging around? The night falls, and the guests go to their rooms. It's rather ominous music over the blood, blood, the blood red lake. The lobby. Here we are. Got a phone call. I better get that. Hello, Mr. Al. Have a look at my portrait. I, I will, sir. Go see if you can help the guests in their rooms. What's in the kitchen here? Oh, there. Oh, no, let's make him French. I know he's not a frog, he's a toad, but I'm going to make him French anyway. Ah, uh, there. I have heard the guests are alright. I need you to get fresh ingredients by tomorrow. Okay, so what's on the menu? Deer steak with mushrooms and rosemary. Lovely. Wild boar ribs in red wine with tomatoes. Pheasant breast in white wine and thyme. Rabbit stew with carrots and white beans. Pigeon in blackberry sauce with potatoes. And the secret Rusty Lake speciality. Well, if I didn't know any better, these are all the animals that have come to stay in our hotel tonight. Seems a little odd. Regardless, what did my boss say? He said to look at his portrait. Oh, look. <coughs> we got the mushrooms to go towards the deer steak. Well, I mean... I don't want to cause a scene with Mr. Deer, but if I think about it, he's the only deer in the hotel and we do need to put on a cordon bleu meal for the guests the next day. What is this? It looks like we need keys to open each one of these. That's interesting. Who do we have here? A, is that a bat? Pardon? Yeah, sorry, can you say that again? I didn't quite catch it. Okay, fantastic. Um, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and ride the elevator. But um, it was a pleasure talking to you. Um, I think I think about... I think. Maybe. Why'd you have to come up here? 
Please stop looking at me. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look around, shall we? Room one. Are you sure you want to enter the room of Mr. Deer? I suppose we probably should. It's probably for the best. Hello, Mr. Deer. How's it going? Bring me a bloody mirror. Okay, Mr. Deer. I'll do my best to make sure you get the perfect cocktail. Looks like uh, with a glass here. Bloody mirror. We need blood, vodka, Tabasco, and a special ingredient. I'm not sure blood goes in a bloody mary, but you know, got an empty canteen there at least. Now let's let's have a look around this room, shall we? What do we have? Got a safe. We got a little collection of insects on the wall here. Lovely, beautiful. Got a bucket. I think I'll grab that. What is this? Some sort of grinder. Oh, we got a little glass. Grab that too. May as well look through this chest of drawers. You don't mind me going through your stuff, do you, Mr. Deer? Oh, no, carry on. Just get me a Bloody Mary soon, please. I've got some matches too. Lovely. Everyone likes matches. Got some scales and some interesting stuff there. What's this? Oh. Whoa. A magic antler. I like it. I like it a lot. Look. Holy shit. Oh, let's see if I can catch it in the glass. Tabasco. That's one of the ingredients we need, right? And what's this? Rosemary for our recipe. We're only missing the deer meat now. That's what could go wrong? In fact, we can add that into our perfect Bloody Mary recipe here. Fantastic. So, what else do we need is the question, though. What's this? Mr. Deer's, re Mr. Deer's research plan. Digging under the hotel. Hotel height. It's got the stamp here. Rusty Lake. I guess that's interesting. I don't know what that's for, but interesting nonetheless, I feel. What do we have here? Ooh, a key of some kind. We have a lantern and I think some soil, but we'll leave that for now. Let's have a look around. Where could I use this key? Let's unlock this cabinet here. Fantastic. What's actually in the cabinet? Okay. So interesting looking. I guess uh, Mr. Deer is very much into his like um, research and alchemy and that kind of scientific stuff, you know. Okay. Oh, a little insect. Come back. There we go. We got a moth. Fantastic. I love moths. Or butterfly, maybe. It's a butterfly. I'm sorry I missed, uh, misgendered you. Get some room service here, please. We need some fresh water up to Mr. Deer's room. As you can see, this bucket is now filled with a bucket of water. Fantastic. Don't want this butterfly escaping and flying around the room, so let's uh, put the butterfly on there for now. Interesting that there's a picture of butterflies here. It's black, orange, grey, grey, black, black. Don't know if that's relevant to anything. Should we, should we try here? Black, orange, grey, grey, black, black. Oh wow, we got a seed. Interesting. Interesting. Now what do we have here? We have some kind of weight set. I guess we have to find out what these weights weigh. So a triangle weighs slightly less. So a triangle's probably three, I would say. Yeah, a triangle's three, if that's four. That makes it weigh slightly more. So... Plus is one, triangles three, squirrelies five. So five, three, one, I think is the right numbers. And there's that weird safe over here that happens to have the same symbol. So that would be three, five, three, one. Yeah, a knife. Well, Mr. Deer, we do need some blood for the cocktail. So if you wouldn't mind looking over there a second... What? What's that over there? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. So, we've nearly got all the ingredients. We just need the special ingredient. You know, the really special one. Let's plant the seed. Add a bit of water. See, seeds need light as well. And what do we have here? Poisonous seeds. I think that might be our special ingredient. I heard, I heard a little bit of poison, not too much, but a little bit can give a real kick to a recipe, you know? Make it, you know, taste much nicer. Obviously, you need to grind up 
said seeds first to make a, a poisonous powder, but other than that, absolutely fantastic. Let's just leave that in there for now. Um, but we do have this dilemma. We do have this dilemma. And the dilemma here is we need eight units of water, but we obviously have to get the right amount in the left hand beaker. Do you have to bear with me a second while I, while I do this, but I'm, I'm sure everything's going to be absolutely fine and going to work out perfectly and nothing's going to go wrong. Okay, I think we've got eight units here now. Fantastic, we do. Let's uh, jump out of that. Add in the water here. Fire up a match and hopefully create the perfect little, little, you know, just a little zing to add to the, uh, the, the cocktail. You know what I mean? I'm sure nothing is going to go wrong. So let's, let's do that. Flawless. Mr. Deer, your Bloody Mary is served. I hope you enjoy. Lovely, huh? Beautiful. <laughs> Mr. Deer, oh, oh. Okay, we went a little bit overboard on the poison, but while he's distracted, may as well grab some venison, you know? Mr. Deer? Deer steak with mushrooms and rosemary is complete. Okay, well, Mr. Deer, we'll see you in the morning. Um, we're going to head back downstairs and... Uh, have the perfect meal served up for the rest of the guests. I hope you get better though, sir. I hope you get better. <laughs> we have to prepare today's dinner. I guess we better get on that. There we go. Mr. Toad, you really are an expert, an expert chef. Is everyone going to enjoy yeah. it is the question. A deep first dinner. Oh, look at that. The verdict, you guys gonna enjoy? You guys enjoying? You're wolfing that down. I can see that twinkle in your eye, Mrs. Pudgeon. I can see you like the tasty meal. Mr. Toad. Perfect dinner. Continue. Fantastic. The night falls and the guests go back to their rooms. I guess we already need to start preparing for the next day, guys. I mean, a hotel worker's work is never done. Never. Let's, uh, let's see what's on the menu today. Thank you for the carrot. <coughs> oh, I guess we're gonna have a lovely rabbit stew with some rabbit leg and white beans. Sounds delicious. Mr. Rabbit did want to show me his magic trick now that you mention it as well, so definitely should pop in the lift, I think. I think the second floor is where Mr. Rabbit is staying, if I'm not too mistaken. Take me up, Bat Bellboy. That'd be great, thank you. Up we go. See you later. Don't squeak at me. Mr. Rabbit, show me your magic trick. Let's have a look, shall we? Mr. Rabbit, where are you? Mr. Mr. Rabbit? Hi, Mr. Rabbit. How you doing? You got a card for me? Fantastic. That was one of the greatest tricks I've ever seen in the world. What do we have in here? We have a knife. We have another card. Fantastic. Lots of lots of magic trick memorabilia here. We got like a, one of those things you put swords in, including a diagram of how to do it. The amazing Mr. Rabbit is a magician, obviously. He's got that uh, that stamp there as well, which is quite quite important. I feel. What else do we have here? We have a picture. Can we stab the picture. We can. Some delicious white beans. The best thing in the world. Fantastic. What else do we have? Oh. I think I'll take that ring, actually. Uh, don't mind me, Mr. Rabbit. I'm just uh, stabbing a friend in the hand. Don't worry about it at all, okay? If that's all right. You don't mind, do you? You don't mind. Of course, of course you don't. Oh, what's this? I'll take that, too. Let's pop this ring in there. And what do we get? We get a key. We do have a wardrobe here. We need three keys to unlock it fully to unlock the magic wardrobe. So I feel that's, I feel that's going to be pretty important, you know what I mean? How you doing, Mr. Rabbit? Do you want a, a hat? You do. What do we have here? Oh, flowers. There is a picture over there where it says purple, red, white, orange. So maybe... I think I... I, think I... Oh, oh, Mr. Rabbit! That's some impressive shit, Mr. Rabbit. Holy shit! And a key. That was one of the best tricks I've ever seen. Round of applause. Let's, let's open up another one of these. Only one more key left on there. Do you, do you do a puzzle here, Mr. Rabbit? Guess we've got to follow the thing. It's changed into a shell. Let's follow the shell. Where are you going with this, Mr. Rabbit? I want to see your amazing trick skills. Thimble. I like thimbles. Let's follow the thimble. 
Got a beetle? Awesome. I fucking love beetles. And we got an eye. You never know when an eye is going to be needed. That, that, that's the old saying, isn't it? An eye a day keeps the AIDS at bay. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's it, right? I think. Meanwhile, the card there. Grab that card from the little diagram. We do have this interesting thing here. I think we've got all the cards that can go on this. Interesting. Okay, so what are we going to do with these cards? Well, there are symbols around the room that correspond to uh, different things, I believe. I thought that was it, but maybe not. You came alive, card. Why aren't you alive anymore? There we go. It did come alive. There's a key underneath it already. I was, I was, I thought I was right. I thought that's how they things corresponded. Let's open the last bit of the cupboard, shall we? Put that stone in that slot there, Mr. Rabbit. Show us what you got. Have an eye. Three swords, Mr. Rabbit. Are you ready to show me your final amazing trick? I mean, this is a great trick, M M Mr. Rabbit. Um, okay, uh, as he died, you saw me, guys. That that wasn't my fault. He did the trick completely wrong. He's not even a professional. Let's just, let's just go. It's a new dawn. Don't have to worry about it. Rabbit stew for everyone. Delicious rabbit stew. Perfect. Perfect rabbit stew. I guess I should probably give these uh, ingredients to... Uh... Oh, they're returning the room keys. Lovely. Glad they, they checked out. Um, there you go. I'm, I'm, they're both okay. They both came downstairs and gave their keys in. That's proof that they're all right. That's proof that there's nothing going on wrong at all. So, yeah, that's fine. What am I going to get from my second dinner? Mr. Toad, have you outdone yourself again? The verdict is... Drum roll, everyone. <laughs> yeah, everyone. They had, the others had to go, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, a round of applause. The perfect dinner. The perfect fucking dinner! And the night falls and the guests are going back to their rooms yet again. I don't know what's with this ominous music. We're the best fucking hotel in the world. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this installment of Rusty Lake Hotel. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like. And let me know what you thought in the comment section. We'll be back really soon with some more Rusty Lake Hotel shenanigans. So, uh, I guess that's that for now. And, uh, please consider following me, supporting me, sorry, on Game Wisp if you do enjoy my content. It's like Patreon. We're going to be doing some exclusive Let's Plays there soon as well. Where only, uh, supporters of there get access to the one playthrough in the month so i hope you guys uh will consider supporting me if you enjoy that content there too and uh i guess i'll see you guys really soon i hope you have a great day fantastic day an amazing day bye for now that's the main problem with the elevator <laughs> the elevator is broken in the fact it's not real i don't like that Beach, uh, objective. We know that. No, 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 I don't like these dolls. Dolly, dolly, dollies. They're not very normal. They're very. I don't like it. I don't like those bangs. Those bangs are awful. Yeah, can you get some fashion tips for the doll? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> also, paint the rest of your leg white. I don't like it. Paint the white. Just cover up the cracks. You know, get a bit of. 